The topic I'm going to present today is assessing the interaction between open forest and the particular matter. The topic is also the basis of the determining the potential opportunities and the existing challenges for using urban forests to achieve cleaner city. I'll elaborate on the topic from six aspects. We all know that with the acceleration of industrialization and urbanization, the increasing air pollution has received more and more social attention. Using urban forest as an air purification regulator to elevate the air pollution has received the more and more focus in recent years. However, the interaction between urban forest and the PM and its underlying mechanism remains little known. To fill this knowledge gap, we first proposed a new classification of PM on plant leaves. The particular matter on leaves can be divided into two main categories. The first one is the PM embedded in the leaf wax layer. The other one is the PM on the leaf surface. This part can be further divided, in the, divided by different methods. The first method is to classify it into, into uh, difficult to remove and easy to remove PM. The other method is to divide it into water insoluble PM and the water soluble in, in, in organic ions and the water soluble organic matter. When we did this study, there was no good method to measure all of these types of PM accurately. Thus, we developed a novel plant PM return capacity evaluation method for this. This method was named orthonic EWPA method. One of, the key, one of the key questions in this method is how to clean the particles on leaf surface completely. The traditional and commonly used method is just to use water cleaning and brush cleaning. However, after observing the SEM image of leaf, we found it can't elute uh, the particles completely. Therefore, we added the ultrasonic cleaning procedure to the traditional method and found um, uh, this additional procedure can wash off the particles completely. This also improved uh, the evaluation accuracy of water soluble PM and water insoluble PM. He said another benefit of our new method is that it uh, can lead to an accurate evaluation of the plant retention ability of wax embedded PM. After updating the leaf cleaning procedure, we further proposed the procedure to measure easy to remove PM or on leaf surface. This part of PM can indicate the renewable PM retention ability of plants and the natural condition. Then we proposed another procedure to measure the difficult to remove PM. And this kind of PM can represent the difficulty, difficult renewable PM retention capacity. Although we can achieve an accurate estimation of these two parts, but uh, is it only indicates the, the ability of plant to capture water insoluble particles. Consequently, we, we further developed the two methods to measure the water soluble components of PM. To assess the, uh, the advantage and disadvantage of, of our method, we made a detailed comparison of our method with other similar methods and found the, the evaluation results of their method differ greatly in terms of PM retention efficiency and its run among species. Among these methods, our approach can obtain the largest amount of information, but its cost and the time requirement is the highest. Then we applied our methodology to investigate the PM retention, um, PM retention characteristics and the different conditions. The first study was conducted in Beijing. So along an uh, air pollution gradient, we sampled the leaves of five tree species and the two periods and the measures data to derive uh, different evaluation index. We found that the particle set distribution on leaf surface changed markedly with increasing dust retention duration. And uh, this variation was species specific and uh, maybe dominantly um, by the leaf microstructure and other external environment factors. As, as expected, all types of TSP on leaf surface increased greatly with uh, increasing dust retention duration. As to different uh, types of PM, the order in retention efficiency of different sized uh, PM among various species was different. This indicates that particle type, damage class, and the assessment skill all should be considered uh, for doing such kind of work. As to our study trees, uh, Sephora Japonica showed the highest retention efficiency for PM 2.5 of TRP and DRP. 
and where pin sublight forms have the ability to return light, light particles with the highest uh, efficiency. The particle returned by the broadleaf and the needle leaf tree species were mainly composed of water soluble PM and the water insoluble PM, respectively. These two PM parts have different size distribution, which varied markedly with species and the air pollution level. Relative to the water insoluble PM, the average relative capacity of different species in returning water soluble PM was more stable with time. Unexpectedly, when using different evaluation indicators, we found the variation in each species retention capacity relative to that of other tree species was considerable. On the leaf surface of broader leaf species, we found the proportion of water soluble PM was the highest. On the contrary, the highest proportion was the water insoluble PM for coniferous species. Besides coniferous, have higher proportion of wax embedded PM than broadleaf species. Our second study was also in Beijing, but it was within a small area around the two, two universities, and we sampled the leaves of 27 species across three seasons for analysis. And we found the particle size distribution on plum the, the on, on leaf surface changed markedly with season and the species. And the rank of different species in returning different types of PM also changed significantly with the season. Among different life forms, shrubs show the highest PM retention capacity and is followed by trees and vines. It is generally believed that uh, rougher, rougher leaf can have hair can have stronger PM retention capacity. However, our data showed that the relationship, the relationship between the surface roughness and the leaf PM retention capacity is very weak. Except of um, evaluating the PM retention on small scales of leaf and the individual tree, we further assessed uh, the large scale effect of urban forest on elevating in particular matter. In the first case, the evaluation is on the max state scale. We used a different source of data, and um, it was roughly estimated that the five tree species in the SDBD region could return 132 20 PM in total per day during study period. And uh, it, it accounts for a large proportion of the daily dust fall amount. In the second case, we did a similar evaluation, but it was, a, it was on a national scale. To achieve this, we sampled uh, the needle leaves in 13 provisional cities, plus the one big city in Tibet. Our data showed that the average PM load on needles in China was 554 milligram per square meter, but the PM load on and the component profiles showed obvious spatial variation across the cities. And compared with the compared with South China, the PM the PMR load in North China was generally higher. And uh, consistent with our funding in Beijing, the water soluble components was the main part of PM in PMR in China. It was also found that the dominant, the, the dominant water soluble ions on leaves were calcium N, potassium N, and the nitrate N. This indicates that red uh, dust, bell mass combustion, and traffic exhaust are significant uh, uh, sources of PM in China. Furthermore, we estimated that the annual amount of PMR on cedrus deodora to be in, uh, nearly 20. 10 uh, square kilometer uh, square kilometer canopy per year in China. In addition to understanding how urban trees affect uh, the air pollution, we are also concerned how, how air pollution influences urban trees. Therefore, we select one tree species and uh, design an uh, uh, experiment and uh, get uh, two groups of um, leaves and uh, measure the uh, different kind of ecophysiological traits. And we found that Increased PM on leaf surface showed no significant influence on most ecophysiological trees, but it could significantly increase the leaf stomatal conductance. Based on these results, we derived the one interesting hypothesis that is, PM pollution will increase the gas exchange rate of trees, but uh, its effect on photosynthesis is higher, is higher than that on transpiration, subsequently leading to increased water use efficiency. We all know urban trees and uh, forests 
often receive data management. This makes us want to know whether forest cultivation merits can influence the PM retention of urban forests. However, contrary to our speculation, irrigation and uh, the coupling and uh, fortification almost have no effect on the PM retention of, um, of, of, of plants. But the trees without irrigation and fertilization, and fertilization always had the lowest PM retention capacity value. And partly consistent with the, our speculation, the daily variation and the average concentration of PM 2.5 in the air was not affected by stru force structure, but the PM retention amount by unit standard area can be significantly affected. Besides, we found that the regulation effects of urban forests on PM concentration in the air included both increasing and decreasing effects. Okay, finally, I want to make a summary. The urban forests, urban trees play a significant role in mitigating haze pollution in China, but it may be not feasible to use the load of PM on leaves to indicate the haze air, haze level in air. PM pollution may affect the water relations of urban forests which need more detailed investigation in the context of increasing frequency and the intensity of global drought. Finally, civil careful measures may, may improve the air purification capacity of urban forests, but more related works are needed for verifying this and developing high efficient measures. Okay, that's all, thank you.